Well, good morning, Mishlicks. Hello, I'm Lisa Fry, the Catholic unschooler. Yes, I want to show you something. Look at, look at all of this. This, I don't think I showed you all of this. I, sh I saw some, and then it just, and then there's like, look, things in the tree. Where is it? Oh, there it is, see? Think cloth hanging, and there's much more up top. So the squirrels made a nest way up high. I remember sharing that. And then one day I woke up and this was here. And the next night, there was a huge raccoon over there, near those trees over there. So I was like, before I saw the raccoon, I thought, wait a minute, something, this could not have been from wind because animals are pretty good with that. So I just hope that my squirrel friends are okay. I did see two of them, but maybe one got attacked, I don't know. So I am going to either leave these here like this because I'll tell you, they were actually rebuilding. I saw them grab the cloth and run up the tree. So, you know, I might just pick it up and put it near the tree so they can have it all. But isn't that sad? Look, oh. All right, so it's 10 minutes to 11 and I did all my prayers. I did all my laundry. I spent time with my family. So now I need, to, oh, I did exercises too. It's a miracle. <laughs> and now I just want to get a few minutes of movement, you know, because now taking care of my mother for the majority of that horribleness is over. And my daughter's party is over. I wish I have a great video. Oh, do I wish I could share it with you, but nobody wants to be on TV. I don't know. But wow, what a big mess. But, um, yeah, so now I can relax. This is, you know, I had my last thing of ziti last night. I just, I'd rather have pasta than pizza. Is that ridiculous? But yeah. So, the party. Oh my gosh, can I just tell you right now? It was out of this world. So I have always associated birthday parties with little kids. So, you know, that's what we did all of our, the kids' lives. We've had parties. So I, I thought this was gonna be a big flop. The day was so beautiful with the sunshine and so many people, I think there was like 36, ended up showing up. It was so beautiful. I wish I could tell you how beautiful it was, you know, like really communicate that. Um, everywhere I looked, like from the right all the way to the left, there were people and they were all doing different things and setting up all the chairs in the front was a great idea. Everybody utilized that. So now you see little remnants of it, little balloons that were popped and my daughter had the best day ever and it actually showed her how empty, you know, Instagram is compared to live relationships that when people come to you, do you know what I mean? I'm gonna go back this way. Yeah, so she realized what a beautiful gift it is to have family around and friends. We had friends here that we haven't seen in so long. There was one friend, hi Karen, and her kids, oh my gosh. I haven't seen them in like three years, I think. And she did, she ventured out. It was wonderful. It felt like a storybook of the day. It was like the most beautiful day that we have had in a very long time. And happy Mother's Day, belated Mother's Day. Um, also, look at all the balloons everywhere. Um, My Mother's Day wasn't the kind of Mother's Day that one might enjoy. Um, I didn't think anything of it. It was like a, a typical day in the sense that it was just, you know, you wake up, okay, and you live your life. My husband did ask me if I wanted to go anywhere, and uh, I said no. I was so tired of doing anything. However, I went to the Latin, the old Latin rite kind of mass, you know, with the veils, and I wanted to go to the May procession. 
a May procession is where they do a crowning of the statue of Our Lady because we can't see her, so we use the statue as a reminder. And um, I put it there at the beginning of the video. Uh, actually, I'll put it at the end. So that's what we did. We went far away to go do that. That's what I wanted to do because I've missed so many of them. And I'm like, you know what? If any mother deserves anything, it's God's mother. So let's go travel there. And what else? And then at night, my husband put on a really good movie and he had to fast forward certain parts because it wasn't good. Uh, I don't know why they do that. So it was really beautiful. The storyline was great. I don't want to tell you what it was, but we got to hold hands. I don't want to tell you the name because I don't want to be responsible that if you happen to not know where those parts are, to skip over. Um, great storyline though. I'll tell you what it was about. How's that? Um, so this man goes into this nursing home and he's reading a book, a story to this Alzheimer woman. And as he's reading it, they go and they show you like back in the forties, the, uh, the story of, you know, what he's reading. So it's about a, cu a young couple, this boy really woos this girl and he just is so crazy about her. And it was just like for the summer. And then she has to, you know, she's really rich. Her folks are, are rich. And then, so she has to leave to go to college. So while she's away, he writes her every day, 365 letters. Don't mind all that. And uh, the mother, so, uh, so the mother of the rich girl never gives the girl the letters. Okay, so she's like, oh my gosh, she doesn't care for me. Because they got into an argument before she left. Because he was like, go, go, you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's just say we're over, okay? And she's like, no. So they got into this argument. She's thinking he never wants to see her again. She's away at school, I think for like seven years. And so what happened was he finally sees her in the town. She comes back and he sees her kissing this other guy because now she's engaged to someone else. And, oh good, it was a 15 minute walk. So, oh well 14. So, she says, he finally, um, hey, did they see each other? Something happened where they could see each other. And she was like, oh my gosh. Oh no, she sees his, all right, he had built a house. He rebuilt a house. He, there was a really old, horrible mansion. And he said to her, I promise I'm gonna make this for you. So they are not in each other's lives anymore. He goes and does that. He's so heartbroken all those years. He loves her so much that for the town, they took a picture of him with his house. And she sees that, of course. And so she sells her fiance, listen, I, for myself, I have to go and do take care of business. So she goes to his house. The, the, the summer boyfriend and of course things rekindle and uh, the mother finds out that she's doing this you know and she says your fiance is on his way over here right now and uh, you know she had to make this decision are you gonna go with your fiance you're gonna go over here and the fian the uh, the boyfriend summer boyfriend said you know you have to stop doing what I want you to do what your fiance and your parents want you to do you have to what do you want so it shows her going off with the fiance and talking to him and the fiance is like look I don't want you to want me while you're wanting someone else. You know, I don't want you to be with me while you're wanting someone else. So it shows her pulling up to the mansion with her her suitcases. And the funny thing is that, remember when I told you there was a gentleman reading to the Alzheimer patient? Uh, it was a notebook written 
by the girl of the story, the young girl, that later on when they were, you know, they got together, they got, had a family, uh, she wrote before she knew she, they, she was diagnosed and then she wrote out their love story. And they said, if you ever, she wrote, she wrote in there, if you ever want me back mentally, read me this book. And so he always read to her. And now and then, it would take like three months and she would just pop in and be like, oh, my darling, I love you. How are our children? And 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 um, so it was really a story that she wrote that her husband was reading to her to snap her back into the memory of them. And um, what else? And then so they were both older and they, he snuck into her room one night and she could, she remembered him in this moment and he laid down with her and he says, do you believe in our love and do you believe in miracles with our love? And they held each other's hands and that was to indicate that would God in fact take them both right now? And so in the morning time, the nurse came in and they were in the bed holding hands and they had died together. And so I thought that was beautiful. You know? All right, let's keep moving. All right. So, I just love this whole relaxing time now. I can leisurely live my life again. The wind feels wonderful. I can continue taking my child to the skate park. I can have a cup of coffee. Yes. If you did not have a great Mother's Day, just know that your job is very significant. It's very important and you matter. It's one of the most important jobs. Even if nobody recognized it in your house, if they didn't put much effort into it, know that your job matters. And hey, if you didn't get recognized the way you really wanted to, just know that God does we have a one-man audience, right? Don't feel sorry for yourself. Don't go into that. Just be glad that you're doing the best that you can because it's the right thing to do. Does that make sense? Yeah. And let's honor Our Lady, shall we? The Blessed Mother, even today. It's never too late to say, I love you, Mother. My dear mother. And that's the other thing. I got to go and they had this big, huge buffet, which I was very good at. I had a salad only and a little bit of cheese. And uh, I got to talk to this woman that I love. She's my uh, sodality sister and she has 10 children. Yes, you heard me right. 10. And it's so beautiful. <clears throat> I call, we call each other our peasant friends because she's not about glitter and glamour, and even though we like those things, <laughs> um, she's so simple, the way she dresses, you know, in her heart. She loves God, and she loves Our Lady, and all the saints, and she loves the church. And so whenever I see her, I go, oh, I love you, Antoinette. I love you, come here. She's this little thing. She's beautiful, and I have to, I can't stop telling her I love her when I see her. She's wonderful. So I got to, you know, sit down with her and just talk about how great the church is. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I got to see little children receive their first Holy Communion. They got to eat God for the first time. Yes, it's wonderful. Now, because we receive these sacraments of Holy Communion and Confirmation, which makes us soldiers of Christ, you know, you can, still have your own free will to do the wrong thing. So you have to be careful. So when people say, oh yeah, well those Catholics, I know plenty of Catholics that are horrible. Well, they're not supposed to be. You know what I mean? They're not supposed to be. So you, have, you still have to receive or reject whatever it is that you do. Hopefully it's the receive one, okay? We still have to, to do the right thing. And just because someone else might be doing the wrong thing, you are held accountable for yourself. All right, we have to always stay focused. And when you make a mistake, get up and ask God for his grace 
to make a good confession, go to confession, and move on. You don't have to get all into this while I'm broken and I'm a mess. No, you pick up yourself, you dust yourself off with the grace of God, and you and you continue. You don't get all wrapped up, well, I'm all a mess, and I'm broken, and I'm fallen, and I'm a fallen creature, and forget it. Move on. Move on. Yeah. So this feels good because there's a lot of coolness in the air. I hate the summertime. I love summer nights and I love being with my family in that great way. And 4th of July is one of the best times for me as we get together with friends and family. I should start planning now. And I'm breathing heavy because of all the trash I've been eating. It's so gross. I feel it everywhere. And today's a new day. And all that stuff's behind me now. Back to cabbage, cooked cabbage. I love it. All right, so I feel like, how long has this been? 15 minutes? All right, so thank you for walking with me. And God bless you all. Uh, maybe I'll continue on with some more things for the video. I just wanted to get my body moving, you know? I just gotta get my body moving. Stop the nonsense. You know, say, okay, Lisa, that was the time. You know, if you want to make allowances, do it only, you know, special events. Like they're having a, this coming weekend is very big. My brother-in-law is going to graduate college. I can be good over there. I don't need any trash for the lunch. Um, and then the next day is my father's. And they're going to be ordering from one of my favorite Italian restaurants, I think. I'm not sure, but if they do, I don't have to go crazy there either. We've had, we've had the fun, you know? And if we just stick it to those times, maybe you can eat the trash. Hi, Birdie. Hi, Mr. Bird. He's running. I love how birds run. Yeah, let me see if he'll, let me show you. There he is. Hey, Mr. Birdie. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. Um. Oh. All right. I'm supposed to be saying goodbye, but I just don't want to stop moving. It feels good. I start my physical therapy for my hip because if I do any strenuous work for a, like an all day kind of thing, it's like my, my hip hurts. So I'm not gonna. I don't want it like that. That's the only thing that bothers me in my life. You know, my lungs are good now. I had a problem with my lungs. Asthma and pneumonia at the same time. Whoa. But now we're good. We're good. Everything's good. All right, I'm gonna have a cup of coffee. I'm gonna go in the house. And I'm really, I, oh, I said my prayers for all of you today. I'm really proud of you. Um, for those of you, you know who you are. Do I have glasses? Oh my gosh. Are we kidding? <laughs> oh wow. Okay, so this is nature. I'm not gonna ask any questions. Okay. See what you run into out there in the world? Just by living, you learn. So, what was I saying to you though? Oh, I remember what I was gonna say, that I'm proud of you all. For those of you that bless yourself, in front of the Catholic Church to honor God. For those of you that have gone into a Catholic Church and may have never been there, you're being honoring to God. So I thank you for doing that because God deserves the very best from us. You know, those of you that have come home to the church, maybe from being away for a long time, I'm proud of you. Thank you for caring. Okay, look at those. Pretty, right? Usually the whole thing is done, but I guess I cut it wrong. And my daisies don't look so good, but I think it's gonna rain, so hopefully that'll help. I wanna show you my invention. 
Doesn't this look like potato salad? Well, you steam cauliflower until you like it soft enough. I put um, the red, the sweet red peppers from the jar marinated and um, celery and onions and green olives. And I put um, yellow mustard in there with the mayonnaise. So you can kind of see the yellow from the mayo. This is phenomenal and it's really good for your liver. And there's that cup of coffee. I want everyone to understand that this has to be an attack. All right, I know everything I think is a conspiracy because if you think about it, it, it looks like it is. I have been sitting here at the table having that cup of coffee for about two and a half hours, okay? I have to write a humong humongous list of information just to make an appointment that I still don't have, okay? Out of the two and a half hours I'm sitting here, I made one, actually two appointments, finally. One was made a long time ago. The other, the other, the two that I'm trying to get, one I just made after all this time, and another one, the hospital, the insurance, the primary care, I'm the ping pong ball today. They keep going like this to me. Oh no, in order to get this, you have to call them. And then they go, oh no, in order to do that, you have to call them. I'll be right back. Yeah, so I feel really bad for like weak people or sick people or the elderly or mentally challenged of any kind. There is, or somebody that has to work all day. Nice. It's almost like they really don't want you to get help. How is it that I'm sitting here almost three hours now and I can't make a point? I cannot make an appointment. Then one place is saying, oh no, you, you, we can't have a referral. You need an order. So then I go, well, isn't that the same thing I'm thinking? Then I call the, her primary care and they say, well, a referral is in order. And I say, well, the, the other people are saying, no, it's not. <laughs> like, I said, why is it that we have to go to MIT to get that? My mother's saying, to just make an appointment. And I'm saying to these people, why do I have to go to college? I said that the patient should not have to be bounced back and forth to make a stupid appointment. I am shocked. Trying to make an airline reservation? Well, I think that's easier. I think that, ah! like she said, she's given birth in less time than this. Stop out. This is Ow, unbelievable. All right, so the the order has been sent out today, right now. So we're gonna go to her appointment. Ah! What is it? What are you pulling? I can't and see. And we'll it. be back to do this for the rest of the afternoon. No, my I said you need a college it. degree. What? God forbid somebody really couldn't donate, okay, wait, you know, dedicate time to, put no glue to make an appointment. Oh. Unbelievable. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wiles and wickedness of the devil. Restrain him, O God, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast in tell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin and destruction of souls. Amen. Uh-oh, there's probably an accident on the highway. That's the highway over there. Yep. So whenever I hear that, you can say, Jesus, 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 so that you can pray for them. All right, I looked up on, it just came up on my phone that there was a crash on this highway. So we said a St. Michael prayer. And, excuse me, I would like to say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Because people need people. What? Did you fix it? I don't know what's going on. Mm -mm. 20? Mm -mm. I can't stop Older? thinking of that movie. Mm -hmm. 25? Mm -hmm. Younger? Mm -hmm. That you know, watch last night it was so good. 30? Mm -hmm. Oh, more. 36? <laughs> He's only 17. Hi. No, let me give you the Okay. Teddy, can I put one on the microphone? I need it. I have to call your doctor. I can't Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, but every, somebody keeps answering the phone, so I can never dial the extension. I'm going to tell you what number to call. Okay. All right. As soon as the machine says, thank you for calling, blah, blah, blah. Yep. 26.30. 26.30. Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye. He is. 
Crash. You are correct. Oh, the poor Crash. They, they have to be a hospital, taken by helicopter. Mm. If this is a medical emergency, or if you're calling when you try the helicopter, is taking the people in the crash. Why the helicopter taking the ones from the ambulance? Go. If you're calling from a touchstone. I don't want you watching these weird people. Is that a guy? Look, when he tries to look cool. For a directory of hospital departments, press three. For further Sometimes assistance, please. Sarah. Sarah. Look how weird this baby is. Like, mm. green and blue. Oh. Hello? Hi, can I help you? Hi, I'm trying to see if um, an order finally went through so I can make an appointment for my mother. Did you call earlier? I have been calling all day. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we don't book appointments for the patient. You're gone. All right. So when I, when I do that, though, there's always a problem. There's always forever a problem. With that, what I am told by my insurance company is this. I know what you're saying. They keep saying the hospital is the one that should be booking the appointments with the doctors. And then I'm supposed to call and say, when is that? And then I call the insurance company. But every time I try that, every we time. We don't book appointments for the patient. So the who? Patient only come, the patients only come here to have the procedure done. So who do I call to make an appointment with? You call the GI doctor's um, office. Dear God. The one in Medical, right? Yes, and I did, did call them. Call? I did. And um, there were everybody's. I, I've called. I've. I spent three hours. Okay, on the phone. Everybody keeps sending me to somebody else. You have to go to college to get this appointment made because I'm the patient. Well, my mother's the patient, but we have to. We keep getting transferred to different people. No, we we can't help you with that. You have to go over there, and then we go over there, and they go, no, we're not the ones. You have to go over there. Let me give you. I want to give you the back line. You can give one of the groceries. Um, normally we don't give the patient the back line, but I'm gonna give it to you. It's okay. Five, four, two, three. You can access me to Destiny. Destiny. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So since I've been home. I called this number and they said to call another number. So I did. And then they told me to call this number. So this is what I'm going to do now. Let's see how many times. Look how, look how long it's going to take me now. Mm -hmm. Check it out, check it out, check it out, y'all. Okay, and how I'm talking to two people at one time. That's how bad this is. I started making appointments at 11, okay? Not only that, okay? Not only that. But now, I have to take my calendar and go to the skate park and make more appointments. I'm calling about the same appointment, mind you. I have to take all my information to the skate park because there's no not enough time at my house to make it. So we're still trying to make an appointment. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you look so comfortable. All right. It started to rain, so now I have to make the appointment in the car. They know her name so well now that I just said her name, and they were like, "Oh yes, hold on, please." This should be after five hours of trying to make an appointment. So now I'm in the car making the appointment. It's a miracle. I got one appointment made. What time is it? Let's see, I started at 11. It is now almost five o'clock, okay? And we're still waiting for another appointment. I never heard of such a thing. Three hours for an appointment that I still don't have. I gotta go to physical therapy. I still have to go home and I still have to make that appointment. It's ridiculous. I'm hearing all the ambulance. Whenever you hear that, you can say a prayer or just say the name of Jesus to help them out. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Wow, it sounds really severe. Gee, does this look familiar to you? Okay, I thought this was very interesting. Gender neutral restroom. I just wanna see, is there one stall? Okay, so that's normal, okay. Anyone may use this restroom regardless of gender identity or expression. Is that necessary? Just say family bathroom and be done with it. Look at that. Oh, honestly, it's such a, um, what's the word? It's, it, it's, it's pushed on you. I don't think that a bathroom needs to say, you know, 
get into all this like confused like okay well whatever you're identifying yourself as and blah 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 it's either you have one thing or the other just go i want to identify myself as a dog yeah i put a whole lot of fur around me and go <laughs> yeah go into the bathroom. hey then you can use it yes look he's still holding on it's not his mindset mama honey he's thinking he, he, he turned around. He doesn't know what the heck he's Yes, he on. did. He turned around because he was facing the other way. And then once I started going faster. So you're going to charge him for this because he's getting a free ride right now. Yeah. Look at him. I he's, can't help like, being like. He's still holding on. Look. Look, he's going to go the other way. This is so funny. See, he's getting. This is the transportation. I bet you the bugs do this all the time. They get free rides. Why should he have flapped his wings all this way when he could just get a ride. He doesn't know where he's going. Yeah, now. okay. Sure he doesn't. I don't buy that for a second. So you think he's going to get off at the dollar store? I don't know. He can get off anyway. He must know. We'll see where he wants to get off. Okay, I'm going to see if he gets off just because we're at a red light. Oh, he's crawling. Oh, he took off. Yay! Goodbye. Oh, May St. Francis protect you. Okay, we went to the dollar store for the my girl everybody went in and i didn't go no way mm -mm. i am not spending any money oh my gosh i spent a lot of money going to you know for this party we had yikes just 100 dollars on pizza alone but now i figured out the madness instead of cooking this that and the other thing and running yourself ragged order a hundred dollars worth of pizza from your local grocery store and it's really good and um and you know, just have out some, a few things, chips, dip, soda, cake, ice cream, you're all set. Never mind getting into all this, that, and the other thing. Forget it. I'm not doing that anymore. Mm -mm. Except for Christmas. And then Christmas, you have a potluck party and everybody can bring stuff. I think that's what I'll do from now on. Yeah, even the pizza then. I'm not going to go crazy anymore. Mm -mm. All right, so I didn't go in. I saved money. Woohoo. Yeah, so now I have to go back after spending three hours on the phone trying to make an appointment. I have to go and spend more time. You know, I really do believe it's done on purpose to make it difficult so that you don't. You would think they'd want to help you, but see, I, I think it's so that you will get sicker and you will die because the government is trying to control the population to begin with. They're teaching it in schools right now so that they don't have to try to control more people. The less, the better, right? All right, so I got this CD. Let me hear it right now, matter of fact. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Mother Teresa, I love her. I do. Oh, wait a minute, that's not it. I gotta find it, where'd it go? The Fire of God, there it is. Mm -hmm. I love chants. Let us ask Our Lady to give us her heart so beautiful, so pure, so immaculate, her heart so full of love and humility. You know, one might say, why do you look at her like she's something special? Well, first of all, if you had eyes to see, you would see that she was and still is. So the thing is, is that because she, str she strives so much to know God, to be close to him and to do his work, you know, that does separate her from a lot of other people. Um, you know, so it's nice to know her and listen to her because when I listen to her, I, I feel closer to God. People might think that's like a... A weak thing to do because you're supposed to be spiritually all set you know but God left us reminders all, all over the place you know and that's why I like looking at his church there it is that's his house right there see it that's the biggest house in town yep so that's his house here on, on the earth his body blood soul and divinity is in there and so reminders you know just like the scapular 
just like you know crosses that you can look at these are things that we can tangibly touch now there are some people that think you shouldn't have to need those things but we are physical as well and that's how God made us and these are important to God because we are not only spiritual okay yeah the flesh is weak okay the flesh by itself is nothing and all that there but together it is the way that God created us and they're beautiful together in harmony so when I hear Mother Teresa talking I hear I hear God I want to be close to her. I want her advice, her knowledge. You know, just listen, just listen. Listen, she knows. And did you know that Mother Teresa had a very difficult time? Uh, she was very dry, you know, joyless a lot of the time. Uh, I bet you didn't know that about her, but she still did the will of God in it, see? Not all saints were all like, woohoo, you know what I mean? A lot of them were hated. A lot of them were, um, hated by people uh you know we all love them later uh, but in that moment you know they they suffer tremendously or maybe they're killed for their faith so listen right listen to her voice that we may be able mm. to receive jesus yes. in bread of life love him as she loved him yes the blessed mother and serve him in the distressing disguise of the poor. In the scripture we read that God loved the world so much that he gave Jesus. Jesus became so small when he came into the womb of Mary just so that we can understand just one of us like us in everything even from the conception yes here they are mother teresa now called saint uh teresa of calcutta that's india um she says the greatest destroyer of peace is abortion I don't see any chickens. Look, we're waiting in line because of all the traffic and we saw chickens near our house. Hi, everybody. I don't see any chickens. Oh, Where are they? Are those things? Those, look, those... Yeah. look, the grandfather with the baby is going faster than us. That's how you know there's a lot of traffic due to the accident. 